I'll look at the big picture and I want to show you what's going on with that because this cold front has been approaching our area now really for several days. And lots of big thunderstorms uh, from Alabama to uh, from uh, Mississippi to Alabama to Georgia and to South Carolina toward the Charlotte, North Carolina area. But I tend to think that these will tend to fizzle before they get into our area a little bit later on uh, during the evening hours. But we still got to watch out for them. It's a marginal threat uh, for severe weather into the area during the late uh, during the later evening hours. Here's where things are at seven o'clock in the evening. You can see all this big stuff going on well to our west. That's where things are at three o'clock in the morning. It's weakened, but we do have a general light rainfall into the area, light to moderate rain. And this forecast model has got a little bit of rainfall at seven o'clock. I tend to think not. Might see a few clouds, uh, but that would be it. But the cooler air enters and it stays. Uh, for today, it was 76. Tomorrow will likely be around 10 degrees cooler, and that's going to happen fairly early in the day, quite likely. Here's where things are by Friday, another cool day, cooler than that coming up by Saturday, and then we move on into Sunday, a bit more cloud cover and rain building up to our west. That's not likely to get close, though, until Monday night and Tuesday. So uh, rain is very, very likely overnight. Saw a few stray showers in the southern Virginia Beach, uh, the oceanfront area during the late afternoon hours, but that's moved on off. Here comes the bigger rain a little bit later on during the evening hours. Uh, we are looking at showers and a rumble or two of thunder coming up during the evening hours, later evening hours. Here's our future track computer model between now and Friday evening when the bulk of the big stuff is going to be happening It'll be overnight. Otherwise, just cool. Here's what's going on overnight. 71, 68, 70 degrees. By 10 o'clock, we've got showers and some thunderstorms approaching the area. By 11 o'clock, yeah, they could see a little bit of action into the region. A little bit of a pocket here and there of heavier rainfall moving on through uh, with that area. And then the actual cool front begins approaching and it moves on through by 5 o'clock in the morning. Moves mostly on through uh, Virginia and then continues southeastward and on out to sea. We might still see a few straight clouds coming up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, during the day, it's going to stay on a little bit of a cooler side, but even the middle of the afternoon, temperatures will start dropping. Certainly dry or air. Lots and lots of sunshine coming up for the day on Thursday. Lots and lots of sunshine for the day on Friday. I think it'll be closer to 55 coming up Friday afternoon. These are raw numbers here. But you can see what's going on. Basically, we've got a cold front moving on through during the overnight hours. It won't be here by 3 o'clock, but I think by 5 o'clock or so it will be. 9 o'clock, not much for rain. By 10, 11, 12 o'clock, o'clock, yeah, showers and thunderstorms into the air. It's still mild at 3 o'clock in the morning, but then that cold front drops through and it drops our temperatures and we'll likely see 66 degrees fairly early in the day coming up for tomorrow. It'll be breezy early, but that wind should drop off pretty substantially even during the afternoon hours. Then the temperature drops off coming up tomorrow night and we'll see much, much cooler air by Friday. 51 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. Those will be the high temperatures back into the low 50s for Monday and Tuesday, upper 50s by Wednesday. Wednesday.